2024 Chevrolet Traverse, enhancing comfort with advanced technology. General Motors has long dominated the full-size SUV market, with models like the Chevy Tahoe and Suburban, along with their GMC and Cadillac counterparts, securing significant market share and generating substantial profits. It's no surprise, then, that GM is looking to bring these successful elements to its latest generation of mid-size three-row SUVs. Leading the charge is the 2024 Chevrolet Traverse, which enters its third generation ahead of the GMC Acadia and Buick Enclave, set to follow in 2025. The Traverse, already larger than its competitors, now boasts a more rugged, truck-like appearance with a bold new front end and squared-off shoulders, making it even more reminiscent of the Tahoe. Emphasizing its tougher look, the Traverse lineup now features AZ71 off-road trim for the first time, joining the ranks of rugged-styled models like the Kia Telluride X-Pro and Honda Pilot Trail Sport. The Z71 comes standard with all-terrain tires, ZF frequency-based adaptive dampers, a twin-clutch all-wheel drive system, and a 1.2-inch suspension lift. While it's not designed for intense rock crawling, it does offer off-road-specific drive modes, underbody skid plates, and increased ground clearance, providing confidence for those who frequently venture onto muddy trails or rough gravel roads. The sporty-looking RS model makes a return, featuring upgraded dampers along with 22-inch wheels and blacked-out trim. Notably, Chevy includes its Super Cruise hands-free driver assist technology as standard on the RS, which is the priciest option starting at $55,595. For a more mainstream appeal, the LS and LT trims are available in the low dash dollar forty zero 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 range, targeting the core of the three-row SUV market. Despite the boxier new styling, the Traverse remains a practical family vehicle. Its two hundred and four point five inch length is only half a foot shorter than a Tahoe, but its unibody construction enhances maneuverability and offers a more car-like driving experience, along with better fuel economy compared to its V. 8. Powered, truck-based siblings. Hashtag 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 new turbo four-cylinder engine. A significant update in this generation of the Triverse is the engine. Replacing the old 3.6-liter V6 is a new turbocharged 2.5-liter inline-four engine. While a 2.0-liter turbo four was available in the previous generation, most models use the V6. The new 2.5-liter engine related to the 2.7-liter turbo 4 in GM's pickup trucks, delivers impressive performance with 328 horsepower and 326 pound-feet of torque, surpassing many competitors in its class. Additionally, fuel efficiency has improved, with front-wheel drive models achieving a combined EPA estimate of 23 miles per gallon, up from 21 miles per gallon, and all-wheel drive models now getting 21 miles per gallon combined, a 1 mile per gallon increase. The Traverse's turbocharged four-cylinder engine doesn't feel as powerful as its specs suggest, partly due to its sluggish throttle response and its hefty curb weight, which can reach nearly 4,800 pounds. This makes it one of the heavier vehicles in the three-row segment, adding about 200 pounds compared to the previous model. The engine sounds rough during hard acceleration and is noisy even during gentler driving. Perhaps the Buick Enclave will include additional sound-deadening materials for improved noise, vibration, and harshness NVH, isolation. Despite its weight, the Traverse handles corners well, with good body control and the firm, responsive brake pedal that is a GM hallmark. However, the slow steering makes it feel as large as it is, suggesting Chevrolet may have intentionally tuned it to resemble the Tahoe's driving dynamics. The Z71 trim, with its chunkier tires, has slightly duller responses, while the RS trim feels sharper due to its more aggressive wheel and tire package. Nevertheless, neither version is particularly engaging to drive. Hashtag 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 lots of space inside. The Traverse's interior prioritizes space and versatility over luxury. The most significant upgrade from the previous model is the new screen setup, featuring an 11.0-inch digital gauge cluster and a 17.7-inch central touchscreen. However, the materials, even in the higher trim RS and Z71 models, are not particularly upscale, and the dashboard design is uninspiring. Nevertheless, for those needing a people hauler, the Traverse offers a spacious and airy cabin with ample room in both the second and third rows. 
The third row offers a comfortable seating position, avoiding the knee-to-chest posture common in many three-row SUVs. Sliding the second row forward creates just enough legroom for adults in the back. Dimensionally, the latest Traverse is nearly identical to last year's model. It continues to offer generous cargo space, even behind the third row, and features a deep storage bin beneath the load floor. The third row folds flat to increase cargo capacity, but it won't fold if the optional second row captain's chairs are in their rearmost position, requiring you to slide them forward first, a minor inconvenience for those who frequently adjust the third row. Space is a major selling point in this segment, and it remains the Traverse's primary strength. Despite the new generation's blockier styling, off-road trim level, and updated technology features, these changes don't significantly enhance its overall appeal. The new engine also falls short of delivering the promised performance. The Traverse still ranks as a mid-tier option, but for those needing full utilization of all three rows or maximum cargo space, it remains a practical choice. 2024 Chevrolet Traverse Still a spacious contender, but lacks excitement. The 2024 Chevrolet Traverse is a carryover model with a significant under-the-hood change. A new 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine replacing the previous 3.6-liter V6. This shift towards fuel efficiency is a trend across the industry, but it comes with some trade-offs in the Traverse. Spacious interior remains a strength. Let's start with what the Traverse does well, space. It's one of the roomiest three-row mid-size SUVs on the market, with adult-friendly legroom even in the third row. Cargo capacity is also impressive, offering up to 97.6 cubic feet with the seats folded. Families will appreciate the easy-to-use second-row seats that can be configured with either a bench or captain's chairs. The Traverse offers a comfortable ride and a smooth-shifting 8-speed automatic transmission. New engine, more power, less character. The new 2.5-liter turbo delivers 328 horsepower and 326 lbft of torque, making the Traverse more powerful than before. While acceleration is adequate, the engine lacks the refinement of the old V6. Some reviewers found the sound less inspiring, a common complaint with smaller engines replacing larger ones. Fuel economy improvements with the new engine are modest compared to the V6. However, the Traverse still offers a comfortable ride quality and a suite of driver assistance features. Should you buy the 2024 Traverse? If you prioritize interior space and practicality over driving dynamics and a luxurious feel, the 2024 Traverse is a strong contender. It offers a lot of SUV for the money, with a starting MSRP around $34,000. However, if you're looking for a more engaging driving experience or a more upscale cabin, you might want to consider rivals like the Honda Pilot or the Toyota Highlander. Ultimately, the choice depends on your priorities. The Traverse remains a solid option for families who need a spacious and comfortable three-row SUV. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.